The state gaming and lottery industry hits an historic jackpot with sales up in 2018. They contributed a record breaking one and a quarter billion dollars to the state. Tracy Leong explains what this means for our state. When the Maryland lottery and gaming industry wins, so does Maryland, boosting our education and general fund. Maryland is cashing in on a booming industry. 2018 saw record breaking numbers for both the lottery and casinos, the first time all six were open for a full fiscal year. It's especially good to see both the lottery side of the business and the casino side of the business both having records and both growing at the same time. Lottery sales soared just above $2 billion. Casinos raked in more than $1.6 billion. Combined, they contributed a record $1.2 billion to Maryland. We fund so many good causes, and uh, it's really a huge motivation for the work we do every day. Money going towards education, local aid, and other vital programs. It's important for each and every industry, and state helps them a lot. That's good. So if people spend money behind the lottery, state helps the other industry too. And instead helps the small business too. Last year, the lottery paid out about one and a quarter billion in prizes to players, and the casinos attracted a record number of visitors from across the region. The facilities are relatively new, and they're very well maintained, and they're just spectacular. Uh, you know, if you've been to MGM, if you've been to Live, these casinos are continuing to invest. As the fourth largest contributor to the state, Maryland Lottery and Gaming is helping to fuel the state's success. Coming off a record breaking year, fiscal year 2019 is already showing promise to be even better. I'm Trace Leong reporting for WJZ. Since the first casino opened in 2010, more than $2.4 billion has gone to the Maryland Education Trust Fund.